Okay, we had a case, a fellow in, uh, up in New York State had an AYA, 28 gauge, and he had a, he, he had a burst about, about here, right by the fore end, and he, hurt, he split the fore end, he had a, he'd hurt his hand, but he, 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 he got over it, and he found a contingency lawyer, you know, one of these ones I'll, I'll take off of what I'll get what you get. And he sued AYA and New England Custom Gun Service. So I had to go up to New York State to look at this gun and everything. Well, the, the guy was on a loser from a, for the, from a start. He was using reloads. Well, I mean, if you're using, if, if you're using reloads, and you get a blow up, you, it's no good try, trying to get money for that because you're on a loser straight away. And especially with small gauge reloads, smaller the gauge, the harder they are to reload and keep your pressures down. You get your pressures too high. Four tens are a very, like four tens are a no-no on reloads because you can get your pressures way up on those things. Okay, any questions on that? So, but that's that. Now, another thing I haven't touched on is wall thickness. Now, you, this is a wall thickness gauge. It's, it's gotten a bit rusty. I'm using it very much. Now, the I'll take try the other one. Oh, great, great! You must have spent a lot of time making them, Len. <laughs> Reasonable amount, yeah. <laughs> okay, now. This is, this is, it's set at zero, the clock is. Now what you do, you slide this, wait a minute, this, you set this down at nine, this down at nine inches, because you imagine it at nine inches, that one's set at nine, that's about the same. Okay, nine inches. You slide your barrels on, pull the thing back, there's a spring, the spring plunger, spring-loaded plunger there, which to keep the little ball bearing on the inside of this thing in, t in contact with the barrel. Okay, you slide that down and rest on that cone. Let the thing touch the barrel. Now you can read off on the clock how thick the barrels are. Now, this, this one here is reading Turn it around slowly, and you can watch the clock and see just how thick those barrels are at nine inches. We, all, we always measure them at nine inches from the mu muzzle. Don't worry too much about here, because the, this is the place to measure them. If they're, if they're very thin there, they, they, then the, the, whole, the whole lot's too th is, is thin, or thinner it should be. Now, this is varying. It's gone up to 20, 23. We take it right round to the barrel. It's thick around by the rim. It's 28. And t take it slowly around. It drops down to 15 there, right in the middle. And you round to the bottom. It goes up again to about 28. And you do measure both barrels, and uh, if the ba if the barrel is twenty thousand thick at that point, that's about as thin as you want to go. Um, you don't want to work on a barrel that's thinner than twenty. You reach that is the lower limit. If they're twenty five thousand thick, they're okay. Because you see now, nowadays with new barrels, a new bar barrel would be probably uh, a 40,000 thick. Now, if, if a barrel is 15,000 thick, it wouldn't stand a reproof. It, was more, it might, might sneak through, but most would fail. Uh, but to be on the safe side, we tend nowadays tell people that 20,000 is the lower limit of 
acceptability. Below 20, forget it. 25 is okay. But again, in the old days, when, like th when this old gun was made, uh, they had a, a bad habit, the gun makers did, of removing metal from the barrels to balance the gun before they, they sold it. So a lot of them was, were thin when they were, they were made, thinner than, thinner than they are today. And of course another thing too, a lot of these old guns were black, this one originally was a black powder gun, black powder proof. Well, with black powder you haven't got, you haven't got the pressures you've got with nitro. And of course with black powder, slow burning, your black powder cartridge, you get the ignition, and you get a slow burn as the, as the old lot's going up the barrel. With, with nitro, you get a quick build up and, 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 and then drop off of pressure, you see? So you, in actual fact, you, your build up of pressure is in that first nine inches, then it drops off. Now with black powder, it's burning all the way it's going up the barrel. That's why a lot of these old guns are, had 30 inch barrels. See, with, um, it was with the advent of smokeless powder that barrels were able, they were able to make barrels shorter because you had a quick burn. So in, in those days, you see, they, they could have produced in the barrels because they hadn't, hadn't got the pressures with black powder, you see. So a lot of them started off rather thin, unfortunately. But you've got to have, you've got to have, you know, some guidelines of some set thicknesses where you've got to tell the customer, you know, I'm not going to do it or be careful or don't buy it, whatever. Okay. Okay. Any any questions? That but I if if it really it's it's a good thing to study the rules of proof and what have you, and learn all the proof marks, even the, even the other European proof marks besides the English, like French, Belgian, German, Austrian, there's a, there's a lot of them. But the main, another thing is, if someone brings a gun to you and it's a black powder gun, you want to tell them it's black powder. Now, if, if a rough guide is, if a gun, English gun, hasn't got the, le the letters, that don't work. Uh, if an English gun hasn't got the letters nitro proof in full, or the letters NP somewhere on the flats, it's not nitro proofed. Uh, and if it's got, it's black powder only. Now some of the very old ones, like done in the 1880s, have got things like this, 12B14M. That means the breech is 12 bore and the muzzle is 14. It's got choke in it. Now those, those guns like that, they were made when the choke was first coming in. Because before, the, before those days, people could, would fire a ball through an old, just any old shotgun. But when the choke came in, they couldn't. So the gun makers had, or the proof house, put on their 12B, 14M. And they also put on their not, not for ball. And you, you see, as well, you see that. Now if you see that, that gun goes back to the 1880s, that long. Now, the, the Germans put on, the, the Germans uh, put on their, 